Hey guys! So this is today's look. Again, it's another fall look. Yay! Um, I just did it all for this look. I just incorporated all the fall colors, leaves colors that I wanted to. I was kind of like, fuck it, whatever. Ooh, sorry. Um, but I wanted to do more of like a smoky eye look with a brown lip, which uh, isn't normal. But when you're wearing makeup and playing around, I say the most abnormal things are the most eye-catching, and that's what gets people asking, what are you wearing? I want to do that. What product is that? So that's why I incorporated like brown eyes, brown lip, really dewy skin, just kind of all eye-catching things for this look. Um, yeah, so let's get started. I am starting with primer. So I'm going to do this quick, Miracle Skin Transformer in Translucent, bam, done. Uh, Makeup Forever HD with Real Techniques Foundation Brush. Just buff that into the skin really well. Get a nice even color all over the face. Ta-da! Next, Givenchy Mr. Light. I'm in number three, Mr. Toast. Putting that underneath my eyes, making sure I get close to the bridge of my nose because that's where a lot of darkness is. Now I'm just gonna blend that out with my beauty blender. And then I'm going to be applying the concealer down the center of my face, chin, underneath the nose, and down the center of the face and forehead. Ta-da, get a little bit of a nice brightness going on. Next, my eyebrows. I'm starting with Anastasia Eyebrow Pencil. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm in blonde and just combing them out. And I'm just going to start off by following the natural shape of my brow. That's why I start off with the pencil. Get a nice light shape going on. And then after I have a decent shape that I want to follow, I then apply the Anastasia Brow Duo Brow Shadows on top. Next, Krylon Eye Primer. Prime the eyes, oh yes. After that, we're gonna use our first color. This is All That Glitters by MAC. Such a beautiful color. And I'm just patting this color onto my lid and up to the crease, but not in the crease. Just getting a nice color on the lid because this is kind of the highlight of the eye. Patting away, making sure it's even, oh yeah. After we have our base color on, I'm taking this, it's like a dirty mustard yellow, yeah, I know, from my BH Cosmetics palette, and a fluffy brush, and I'm applying this in my crease and also above my crease, just windshield wiping it, adding the color on gradually to get a nice yellow base. There you go. Now, on top of that yellow, I'm adding this color by MAC. It's called Antiqued. And I'm using the same fluffy brush, but we're applying Antiqued now into the crease. Not, a, not really above it like the yellow, just in the crease and just blending away, blending into all that glitters in the yellow. Just keep adding the color until you have the, the vibrancy that you want. Not sure if vibrancy is a word, but I'm using it. Next, I'm taking this brown. It kind of has a purple undertone to it. And this is gonna be our crease color. This is going right into the crease, all the way down next to the tear duct. And then I'm taking that same color and just patting it on the outer V of my eye. Just starting at the outer lid and then applying it into the crease as well. Now since we kind of have a sharp line going on, I'm then going to be taking um, my MAC 217 brush and just lightly blending this color into the crease and just getting rid of any harsh lines. Making it look a little softer. There you go. Now I'm taking that yellow that we started out with with a pencil brush and just sweeping it all along my lower lash line. I'm gonna build on the lower lash line. Because after the yellow color, I'm taking this, it's a brown orange from my BH Cosmetics palette. 
sweeping this right on top. And I'm not sure what happened here, but I also am taking that brown that we used. I just, I guess I didn't record and sweeping that right on top of the orange brown, see? Next, I'm taking my L'Oreal, it's this black brown eyeliner. And we're just doing a really simple cat eye, drawing a line all across our lid and then just ending with a tiny cat eye, nothing too dramatic. There you go. Got some eyeshadow in my eye. NARS Albatross. This is just gonna be our highlighter for right under our brow. And to blend it into the yellow a little bit, I'm just going to use my finger and just press gently and blend downwards. Just like that. And now L'Oreal Telescopic, top and bottom. Bam. Any cleanup, I use my beauty blender. Get any eyeshadow. Back to Albatross, I'm using my pinky and I'm just dotting this right next to my tear duct and pressing it a little bit on the bridge of my nose to get a nice highlight from anywhere you turn. You can see it. There you go. Now I'm taking my L'Oreal black eyeliner and I'm just going to be adding this to my bottom waterline and tight lining the top as well. Just making these eyes look a little bit more dramatic, giving it more of that smoky effect, the darkness in the center and then blending out. That's what the smoky eye is all about. Dark around the eye and then the color gradually fading outwards. So just tight lining, tight lining, and water lining. Ta-da! And I'm focusing a lot of the black, uh, mostly on the outside parts of my eye as well. After this, bronzing time. Taking Hula from Benefit and my uh, Bare Minerals Flawless Face Brush. Adding this to the forehead and temples and of course underneath the cheekbones give a nice contoured look uh, now i'm taking a more precise bronzer brush and adding it down my jawline a more sculpted face and of course down the bridge of my nose on both sides getting a nice natural tan going on there there you go and to blend it out, you can either use a beauty blender, I'm just gonna use my fingers and pat it away. After bronzer, we need some blush. Yes, we do. Haha. -ha. I'm taking NARS, this is Outlaw by NARS. Tried to show you the name, but it's just blurry. And I'm taking my Real Techniques blush brush, getting better at saying that, and just patting away, keeping the color mostly on uh, towards the ears and then blending into the Adam's apple while I sing to the music. <laughs> Just gives a nice flush color. It's really pretty. Now I'm taking Vienne Rose. This is a makeup, a chaos makeup highlighter, sorry. And just patting this on top of my cheekbones and blending downward. And of course, I'm going to also be adding this to the center of my face as well. On the chin and on the nose, just to give my skin a really dewy, glowing effect. I love this highlighter. Yeah. Now for the lips, I'm taking my Makeup Forever lip pencil. This is in 5C. It's a nice... Uh, it's a natural color, but if you keep applying it, it gives a brown effect to your lips. And that's what I'm going for. There you go. And now I'm taking my new Wet n Wild lipstick. This is in Java. First time I've ever used Wet n Wild lipsticks, but I've heard good things. And just applying all over my lips to get a nice browned Java effect. <laughs> and there you go. Okay guys, so this is the final look. It's much more of a fall smoky eye, followed by the brown lip. Seriously wanted to use all the fall colors, get them out of my system for once. So this is it. I hope you guys liked it. I'll be making many more tutorials coming soon. Uh, please keep the concepts coming. I'm loving it. And uh, check out my blog for 
uh, all the products that I use in this tutorial. I'm also starting to now do uh, swatches on my blog of new products that I got or product reviews of stuff that I really, really, really like um, or things that I just I don't think people should get again. <laughs> so uh, that's now on my blog as well. But have a beautiful day, guys. Thank you again for stopping by and peace and love. <laughs>